Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Jim Beckwith reporting here at End Times Prophecy News. A shocking story here. Islam is coming to the whole world. You better believe it. It's the Great Tribulation Saint Killing Machine. Swedish family flees to Poland after state hands his daughters over to Muslim family. Poland, where freedom of speech and Christians are not persecuted. But in Sweden, uh, be totally the opposite. A father in Sweden fled to Poland with his children after they were placed with a Muslim foster family 300 miles away, pushing Islam. How dare you try to push Christianity? We'll, we'll give you the, the, the religion of death and the cult religion of death and fear that we paint as the religion of peace. Peter Lysoff fled Sweden with his children and is seeking refuge in Poland. The children were only allowed to see their father for six hours every week. Seeking asylum in Poland, Sweden placed Dennis, or yeah, I guess that's how you pronounce it, Lysoff's Christian daughters with a Muslim foster family, and he could see them for only six hours a week. He fled with them to Poland, and Polish court decided children could stay with their father. Praise the Lord for that. If the father was Muslim, this story would be leading the liberal news media right now. The Swedish Social Service's decision to place three Christian girls in a Muslim Lebanese family has resulted in an international scandal involving Poland. The scandal is Sweden. The scandal is the Pope, who's ordered all nations to push Islam and Sharia law into all of them. After the Swedish Social Services attempted to place Denise or Dennis Lisov's three children in a Muslim foster family, the Russian father took his daughters and fled Sweden, unleashing a thriller-like sequence of events. Dennis Lisov came to Sweden seven years ago in 2017. His wife fell ill, whereupon social services decided to take away his children on the grounds that he had no full un in employment and was therefore unable to take care of them. Let me guess. They're also firing people who are Christians and hiring people that are Muslims in Sweden. <laughs> Probably. Lisa's family formally retained the custody of the children, but only had the right to see them six hours a week. Enough time to get out of the country of death, the Swedish news outlet, some halls in it, reported. According to Bobkin Kanzadayan, who represents the Lisa's, they weren't given any opportunity to defend their rights, and the girls didn't want to stay there. You think that the beast system is going to give you rights? After his daughters had spent over a year in the Muslim family, about 300 kilometers from their real father, Dennis had had enough. He took his daughters and decided to return to Russia. However, he was stopped at Warsaw Airport and the Swedish Air authorities reported his daughters missing. Therefore, he has applied for asylum in Poland instead. Good for you. Why would you go back to Russia? And then we show how the typical Democrat is corrupt. Pay for play using campaign funds. From the FEC, Beto O'Rourke funneled $110,000 in campaign funds to his web development company. You know, the guy who wants to push the Green New Deal, the guy that calls Trump a racist bigot, the guy who hates any borders and calls that immoral, the guy who loves child trafficking and drug trafficking coming across the border, but paints it as immoral to build a border. You know, the guy who took acid it admitted he took dropped acid as a teenager and was in a was in a hard rock band. The guy that loves to talk with his hands an awful lot too. He's a goofball. Democrat 2020 presidential candidate Beto O'Rourke funneled roughly 110,000 in campaign money to a private web development company he and his wife owned at one time while he served as a congressman, according to FEC rules. 
See, there he goes with his hands again. It's all, he, he his hands never stop moving when he's talking. You notice this? Look at this. The guy can't stop. <laughs> Trump, Trump made fun of him, and he had good reason to on that one, huh? But see, this is the typical story of what it means to be a Democrat. I will support all drugs and child trafficking across the world because I'm going to make millions of dollars on it. O'Rourke's campaign, Beto for Texas, donated money to Stanton Street Technology Group in several different election cycles. So what do they do? They steal your campaign money and then they put it in their coffers for their businesses. And just like AOC, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez did the same thing. Nothing but corruption with these new wannabe presidents. The campaign donated 58,000 to the group between 2011 and 2012, 39,000 between 2013 and 14, and 9,000 between 2015 and 16, and 32,000 between 2017 and 18, according to the Federal Election Commission records obtained by the Daily Caller. During that time, either O'Rourke or his wife owned Stanton Street Technology Group, a web development firm created by O'Rourke in 1998. We donated it to our own business. The right has figured it out. The conservatives. The payment to the firm are legal if the campaign sends a bill for the cost of the services, but some people have criticized the practical as unethical. You think? The Atlanta Journal-Constitution reported Amy Sanders O'Rourke, Beto's wife, if you like a beta compared to an alpha, took over the web development firm when the Texas Democrat began serving in Congress in January of 2013. She took the helm of the firm until March of 2017 as it was falling apart, so let's feed it with campaign funds, when she sold her share of the company for 100000 to $1 million. There you go. More fraud. According to a 2017 financial disclosure report for Beto O'Rourke's campaign, she sold her shares because she knew it was tanking. Just like the whole Beto O'Rourke campaign is tanking to America. But if you listen to mainstream media, oh, you're going to believe it, that he's a winner. Oh, he also believes in the Green New Deal to, you know, bring in $92 trillion worth of debt in the next 10 years. Oh, and he also probably believes in AOCs that the world's going to die in 12 years. Well, if it's going to die in 12 years, what's the use of trying to save it? <laughs> Beto O'Rourke is not only the only Democrat to be accused of funneling camping money to a private company. An FEC complaint released Wednesday alleged that Representative AOC, the cause, ran a subsidy scheme to go around federal campaign requirements. That reports from Breitbart. Thank you for listening. Let me be serious with you. I would rather that you donate to my ministry directly. I cannot survive financially to keep this ministry and new service going without your help. And we all know their plans to shut me down again. But many of you would like to receive a gift or product as a token of my appreciation. And I don't blame you. Isn't it about time Uncle Sam started paying you instead of you paying him? It is about time. The federal government pays you your rent check. The government rents out thousands of buildings instead of buying them every year. This is all funded by the current $11.1 billion building fund in our budget. Get your free federal rent check today sign up with the federal millionaire information here down below become a shareholder to receive federal rent checks for life by making a one-time investment as a shareholder an IRS ruling declares this to be totally legal this is no joke no scam and been for many years the longer your name is on the distribution list, the larger your federal rent check grows. As inflation rises along with real estate, the government pays you more every year. Starting out as little as $1,800 a month would be your rent check. Wouldn't that be nice to receive every month a rent check like that? The federal government continues to raise your income as inflation rises. This puts an end to retiring with a fixed income that leaves you going broke as you get older. This will put a major dent in those people who hate their home tax is going up every year, wouldn't it? And folks, the price for this valuable information will cost you only $39 a year or $79 for a two-year membership. Sign up today.